see our real friends, our real wealth, and our ultimate license. Even if your son is sitting on your very lap, still you cannot protect him. But when the consequences of his past fruit of reactions take effect, then this material world will be finished on your lap no longer. In this material world, so many living entities become absorbed in these temporary relationships, happiness and distress. And they're now being degraded into lower species of life, falling into illusion far, far away from Krishna's lotus feet. So now, give up their useless lamentation and become absorbed in the ecstatic chanting of Krishna's holy name, which is going on from within your own courtyard. Why are you explaining, my son, my son, my son, in great sadness? Krishna has only taken his own devotee to suit his own purpose. Don't you believe in Krishna? Krishna is the cause of all causes. And everything is taking place according to his own desires. We do not understand the whole purpose of this material world. And it is foolish to think that we do. So now, please become absorbed in the lotus feet of Sri Krishna and absorb your mind in the transcendental kirtan. Then all your material illusion will be gone and transcendental happiness will be yours. Now my dear ladies, let me tell you one more thing. And by hearing this, all your lamentation and grief that is in your heart will go away. My son has died while hearing the ecstatic holy names of Sri Krishna. He has also died in this transcendental land of Sri Lakshmi. Therefore, he must have died while being absorbed in transcendental love. Should any of us be so fortunate to die in this wonderful way, then we certainly, we will certainly cross over the ocean of the truth. Now, my dear ladies, please, please come back to the dear time and absorb
I could not bear the suffering that would hit my heart if I would have disturbed your ecstatic kirtan. Only one of my sons has died, and that has not given me much suffering. Even if all of my sons were to die, still I would obtain more than enough transcendental pleasure by seeing your lotus feet. That, my dear Lord, that is why I do not tell you of this bad news. Because I know I would have died on the spot if I would have disturbed your tears. Let us go, oh, my dear Lord. My dear Lord, if you will now give us permission, we will take the boy to the Ganges to perform the proper funeral ceremony. Let us go see the dead son of Shivas. My dear boy, why have you left so suddenly? Please tell us. Why is it that you've left behind your loving family? <sighs> My dear Lord, who will now die in truth, unlimited, and without competition. Since you are the source of all energy, you can accomplish anything you please. Life and death belong to you, and you control everything by your multifarious potency. Neglecting your lotus feet, I have become completely ruined, falling down due to the dazzling bewilderment of fruit of game. I have been captured by illusion in this mundane world. Wherever you send me next to the Lord, I must certainly go and be someone's son, husband, father, or daughter. I have no idea what kind of pious credit I must have earned to be born as the son of a great devotee like Shivas Pandit, and being a holy abode of Navadi. O Lord, if it is your desire that I should take another birth, I humbly request that you always allow me to be situated in the transcendental loving service of your divine Lord Spirit. Alright, here we go! You are indeed my most wonderful devotee. Indeed, it is because of your love for me that I stay in this material world. Now, let us go to the Ganges. We will have ecstatic kirtan, and we will give this boy to Ganga Mai.